Oh god, we're really about to talk about the 3DO. That's right, the 3DO. Released in 1993, this system was created by the 3DO company. This system, fully titled the 3DO Interactive Multiplayer, was designed to be a next-gen system compared to its major competitors at the time of its release, the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis. The 3DO company, lacking the means to produce the system on their own, came up with a set of system specifications and turned manufacturing of the system over to multiple manufacturers. This resulted in multiple variants of what is now known simply as the 3DO. The first model 3DO launched with a suggested retail price of $699 and only one game at launch called Crash and Burn which seemed to be a prediction of the console's fate. It came out at the beginning of the CD-ROM phase of console video gaming, so of course game developers thought it would be a good idea to use full motion video and interactive movies in their games at a time when video quality was barely good enough to depict stick figures. A stream of low quality games and expensive hardware helped damn this system to its demise in 1996 without a successor. The 3DO company went on to become a third-party game developer that produced games on various systems of various quality until its end in 2003. Well, I guess that's our cue. I guess it's time to play some 3DO games. Giddy up, kids. We're about ready to travel through the shit maze that is 3DO. Alright, first up, let's play a game that has real in the title. Real Pinball for the 3DO. Oh boy, just listen to that music, I can already tell this is going to be a fucking masterpiece. Alright, let's take a look at the opening of this game. Okay. Ooh, that one flew at me. Ooh, look, it's the Statue of Liberty. A dragon? Oh boy, this is getting boring real fucking quick. Let's just fast forward through this shit. Alright, more shit flying at the screen. 3D modeling of the table. Okay, then shit goes flying at the table, now we got designs on the table, and end roll credits. Alright, I don't know what the hell I just watched, but now I gotta wait almost a minute for the damn game to load. Oh look, realism! I gotta insert a coin. Well, once I figure out how to insert the damn coin, now I can actually play the game. Woo! I hope it was worth it. Look at that ball go. Oh god. Now listen, I'm not trying to crap on the 3DO just to crap on it, but there's a couple things you gotta get right when you're gonna do a pinball game. You gotta have the right speed, you gotta have good table design, and you gotta have good physics for the ball and the paddles. This game is lacking in every fucking category! Now I'll show you more, but it's pretty much the same gameplay with slightly different tables. So let's go ahead and move on. Our next stop on this train is gonna be Way of the Warrior. <coughs> Sorry, I guess that's something in my throat there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the only fighting games that I own on the 3DO. Let's see how this one fares. This one's pretty interesting in that it has music licensed from White Zombie, which is at the time was one of the major bands, uh, which later Rob Zombie would go on to uh, break off of them and do his own projects, but whatever, who gives a fuck? Ooh, look, we got live-action photos of our fighters. Hopefully the game's not live-action fighting-based. Two interesting characters right here. Oh, shit's getting real. He's taking the jacket off. Round one, fight. First thing you do is jump. Look at this. Jesus Christ, he's like he's on the fucking moon. Who the hell jumps that high in a fighting game? And of course, you know, every man in a suit has green shit that he throws out at people, you know. Oh, that's great. Fucking right there. Hey, whoa, look at that shit. Well, you do got to give him an A for effort. The fighting graphics do look pretty good, but the goddamn controls and the fucking fighting style are atrocious. And you know what? This white zombie music really isn't helping matters either. I can't understand what he's saying. I really don't know what else to say about this game. The characters are stereotypical, the fighting animation is lame, the controls were even worse, but I'm sure it was a unique game at the time, but either way, don't buy this game. Let's just move on to the next one. 
Yes, PGA Tour 96. You know what I love about golf? Golf carts, booze, and beer babes in that order. Let's see if this game has any of that. To remain at even par, he needs this putt. My, my, sir. That was a skillfully played shot. Righto. Well, the game's a letdown, but there are some redeeming qualities here. You can pick a PGA Tour Pro to play as or against. I really like the, the TPC at Avenel. I've, I've played well down at Sawgrass, and that's always been a nice... You know what? Me, but, uh, when uh, I was I a kid, Avenel, my did. cousin told me a story about when he caddied for Tom Kite. And you know what he told me? Tom Kite's a dick! Well, this game is shit, and it's really all due to the controls. You're better off playing golf on the NES. Let's go on to the next one. Next up is Hell, a cyberpunk thriller. This is a very strange point-and-click game that is definitely not in my wheelhouse. It has LSD-induced graphics and B-list actors. Let's just go ahead and watch a little bit of it, and then we'll determine what the fuck we're looking at here. I guess he can't eat hot peppers either. According to a friend of mine, this is the view your dick gets right before you anal prolapse somebody. That tidbit of information was brought to you by Jared from Avalanche Reviews. Ladies and gentlemen, we're making our final descent into the rectum. We thank you very much for traveling the colon today and have a pleasant evening. Vocabulum etheris, ominous venere obgenitor. If you were too tired, you could have just said ah, so. I need a stiff drink after that nightmare. Let me take this door that leads into a closet. Danger, Will Robinson, danger. There'll be more of them. Let's get out of here. That explained nothing! Oh god, I guess we should start the game. Let's choose the guy. You're going to hell! Hell! hell. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is the first screen of the game. It's your pretty basic point and click. You have an items menu, you have a map, and you also have a pointer that you can hover over and do different actions in the game. Wait. What is that? Is that a trident? Fuck you, Aquaman! Alright, so we have two main characters here. The first one doesn't have fucking eyelids. And the other one's an ARC employee. And there's Ducky from Pretty in Pink. Now despite all the shit I'm giving this game, I actually kind of wanted to play it. But you know what? I can't figure out how to get out of this fucking room. I'm clicking everything. I'm talking to this schmuck again. I'm clicking this wall, going down, going left, going right, hitting the items menu. Nothing. Fucking nothing. 20 minutes of sitting here doing absolutely fucking nothing. And you know what? That's when you just fucking throw the system out the goddamn window. The pad of the pad of cyber. All right, I just can't do this anymore. I have a bunch of other games I want to tell you about, but I just can't do full reviews. So we're just going to go through and do a good or shit rating. Jurassic Park. Good. Off-world interceptor. Double shit. Space Hulk. Major shit. Demolition Man. Good. Quarantine. Shit. Twisted the Game Show. Uber shit. Gex. Good. So to summarize, what do I really think about the 3DO? It fucking sucks. Why? The hardware was too expensive and the games were subpar. I can understand them trying to do things that were cutting edge with video and whatnot, but it just didn't work out and that's why it failed. 
So unless you're just psychotic or you're a collector, have at it. But really, I guess when I think about it, I express my feelings better in music. So let's try that. Oh wait, this is the wrong instrument. Matter of fact, that's the wrong fucking song. Let me try this again. Aha! This is more like it. Let's do this shit. Everybody's fucking talking about the video with the shit, but I don't know what the fuck is wrong with it. Dress up, fucking sewer shark, serious hawk, brown rage, quarantine, Johnny Rocket, I ain't dealing with this. Now why is everyone telling me that this is fun? Joe and Dave, they love it like a cinema fun. Panasonic was just in the way, now Sony and Xbox are saving the day. It's the 3DO, man. Check out my message to you. As a matter of fact, don't let nothing hold you back. We can take a shit, baby, so can you. Sega has a 32X and a sexy D. Let's end it with virtual reality. So many consoles I can take anymore. Jimmy Hopper spend the record, let's give him one more. Fuck the trio. Does your widow waste car driver want to go home? I am the Nest Cat.